be our last uh, data warm up before we get into more directed and complicated examples. We're going to find customers who rented from um, more than two genres. Let's say uh, at least two genres, greater than or equal to two genres. And this is not a pre planned query. I have no idea how we're going to do this. So why don't we just go ahead and do it? Uh, we need to, first, we need to find rentals. Um, so let's check the table that's called rentals. All right, let's just select some things and get going and, and see if you can do it. Rental looks like, am I connected to the wrong table? <clears throat> From rental. Let me, uh, this is strange. DVD rental. And try it again. Okay, and sometimes um, you might end up being disconnected uh, from your connection or if you have another database running on Postgres that you might use for other things. You know, if something's not working or it says table can't be found, just, just make sure you're using the right connection. I'm using DVD rental on Jeff at localhost. Uh, yours will be uh, slightly different. So let me just uh, zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we have all from rental here. Again, we're trying to find customers who've rented from at least two genres. So we have the customer ID and the inventory ID here. So we're definitely going to need those. I'm going to alias R as rental. So I'm going to say R dot rental ID, R dot customer ID. And I'm going to need information about the film. So the inventory ID is probably going to be the, the column that's going to get me closer to that. So we need to join data from inventory. And if we look at inventory, and this is how you figure things out, right? You look through the columns and you try to figure out what you can join with what. So we're going to do a left join inventory I on R dot inventory ID equals I dot inventory ID. And it doesn't matter if you put the I dot inventory ID over here or the R dot over here. There's no difference. So once we do that, we can get the film ID. So we could do I dot film. ID that's coming from the inventory table. Very nice. So we're getting closer and closer to the genre here. So from film ID, that will probably lead us to a table called film. Uh, so let's join in film. So left join film f on i dot film ID equals f dot film ID. And from film, we should try to get, um, let's see, do we have genre here? No. We have rating? No. What can we do? Let's see. Let film category, okay, so, uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll have to go to film category. No. Hmm. Film ID. Film. Let's just grab everything from film and just see what it looks like. That F dot star that gives you um everything from the table that you've aliased as whatever dot star. So just scrolling across here, uh, rating, no, that's not the genre. It has to be probably going to be film category. All right, so we're going to go left join film category FC on FC dot film ID equals F dot film ID. And 
I'm just going to get the film name here. And from the category, I'm just going to get the, uh, the category ID. So FC dot category ID. F dot name does not exist. So in film, we need to figure out oh, title. It's film title. So, and you know, you'll make these mistakes as you go along. It's just part of writing SQL. All right, great. So now we have, uh, have the rental ID, we have the customer ID, we're getting closer to having the genre. And now we even have the film category. So presumably we can link this data up to a table called category. And right, so let's see where that goes. So uh, left join category C on uh, well, C dot category ID equals this guy. And what are we going to want? We're going to want the category name, so c.name. And let's see what that brings us. All right, so here we go. I guess, I guess you could call this a genre. And music, children, horror. Great. So now we have kind of a, a big table here of everything we need. We have uh, a row for every rental by a customer and we have the name. So I really just want to know for every customer how many rows they have for each uh, genre. I'm just going to call that genre. So now remember that everything is a table. We can select from any select. Everything is a table, emphasis on that. So we're just gonna do this. We're gonna go, we're gonna call this whole thing T. And what I really want from T is I want uh, T.CustomerID. T.Genre. And um, I wanna count. Let's see how that works. We're going to have to group by the first two columns. Okay, getting there. So now we have the customer ID, we have the genre, and we have uh, the number of films they rented from the genre. That's kind of taking us, and I have, I have not pre-scripted this, so I'm just kind of making it up as I go along, so you see how I think about things. What I asked you to find was find customers who have rented from at least two genres. Um, so that's good. We're getting kind of close here. Uh, let's just order it a little bit so we can do order by one and um, then three descending. So that'll give you the uh, right. And okay, so we have more information than we originally set out for. I'm just gonna kind of put an end to this and answer the question. I'm gonna say um, select T2 customer ID. And I'm gonna do count distinct T2.genre from this whole thing. I'm gonna call it T2. And we're gonna to have to group by one. Okay, so now we have our, our customer ID and the count of distinct genres that they've rented from. And if we wanted to say where the count is greater than or equal to two, we can't use the where clause, we'll need to use a having clause. And you can remember that having goes after the group by because of the alphabetical nature of it, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And we're just going to say having count dot star greater than one. Uh, you can't use uh, aggregates like count or sum or max or min in the where clause. You have to put it in the clause called having, which filters down the result of the aggregated data. So let's just do that. And if we order by two, and the default is ascending, whether you type it or not. You'll see that nobody here 
has fewer than two rentals, um, if we want to cut it off a little bit more, let's say 20 is the uh, is what we're really interested in here. So maybe um, count greater than 20. Sorry, probably missed something there. Greater than one. Right, oh, nobody has anything greater than 20. So that's gonna return an empty set. You can say greater than 10, and that'll further truncate it. So there you have it. It was kind of an unscripted example. You saw how I fished around the table structure to figure out what the join columns were, what the join conditions were. And then we kept trying to figure out and think about what the objective was by using outer selects and our original data became the inner select and to top it all off we filtered down uh, the counts using uh, the having clause so if you're feeling pretty good about what just happened here and you think you can replicate it uh, then you can move on and i think you'll really enjoy the course uh, if you have any other ways to do this and there are many many ways to do this that's the beauty of sql you know feel free to share it with the other students or even myself you can always learn about the way people think some people might not like the way I did it. Some people might like it. It's not like uh, SQL is not like Python where there are uh, standards for indentation and spacing and how you, you know, set up methods on classes and where your import statements go. It's kind of like the Wild West, but you want to make it readable, at least for you when you look back on it at some point. So uh, thank you for watching and we'll keep it going.